Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for Pisces for August 2018, Love and Relationships. This is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. Also check your moon and rising sign, as that can give you a lot of information as well. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you for watching and liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. So today I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot Deck by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy, and also the Romance Angels Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. And I'm also going to be pulling you an additional advice card, and that is from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. Uh, again, this is a general reading. Um, if it does not resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. And I'll leave all of my information down in the description box. Okay, so this is a love and relationship reading, Pisces. Um, how this works is this side over here will represent your energy. The side over here will represent the other person. This can be your partner. Um your significant other. If you're not in a relationship, it can still apply to you. It can be the person that you're talking to or the person you have a crush on. It can even be an ex-partner. So basically it's whoever you're thinking of while you're watching this video. Okay. So I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, Pisces. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, you have the Page of Pentacles. So the pages are always a message. Um, I believe you're going to be getting a message in the month of August. Um, this could be somebody you've been out of contact with for a while. Um, this is a good card. Um, this person has good intentions. I feel like they um, they want to offer you something. They want to offer you something that is solid, um, that is stable. Um, can oftentimes be an apology, um, but I feel like this person um, has good intentions. They're they're a loyal person, and they have um, good morals. Okay, so they're coming to you with a message. This person, it can represent a, an earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They can be younger than you, um, or can, they can just be um, young at heart, okay? Underneath that, you also have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So with the Five of Swords, um, oftentimes this can be um, a betrayal of some sort. This person might have hurt you in the past and they are coming back to apologize. Or um, they might have deceived you in some way. They might have lied to you. And um, they're coming back in an honest way to speak their truth, basically. With the Seven of Pentacles, you, I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this person. Um, you've been thinking about them. You might not have been in direct contact with them, um, but you have been waiting and hoping and planting the seeds that um, perhaps there was um, or there still is some hope for this, re this relationship. Okay? Um, as you can see, she's watering the plant there. You really want this to grow. You want things to progress. And um, I don't feel like it has in the past. So we're going to see what else we have for you, Pisces. <clears throat> All right. The first card represents your energy. And you have the tower. So this is a major arcana. Um, I know this can look rather scary. A lot of people see the tower and they think, you know, gloom and doom. It doesn't always have to be that way. 
um, with this representing you, Pisces, you are changing, okay? This is a sudden change. Um, it can be something unexpected. It can be something that is out of your control, but it's going to affect you deeply, okay? Um, whatever it is with, with the tower, it's, it's basically things that weren't built on a um, firm or solid foundation are crumbling, okay? So this can be the release of anything negative in your life, anything that um, was toxic or or no longer served you, you're letting go of that, okay? So I, for me, it's like stripping down the layers and getting to getting to the, um, the core of who you really are. And Pisces, I feel like, um, you know, you are a water sign and with all the eclipses lately and the, the, um, the energies of the moon, I feel like there has been a lot of releasing for you. Um, you may have been, um, you know, purging, letting go of anything that, um, you don't want in your life anymore. Okay. So I can, I don't always see the tower as a bad card. It can be very good if we're getting rid of things that are toxic or are, um, not good for our love life or our relationships in general. Okay. Um, let's see where else this goes. Maybe we will understand the tower better. <clears throat> All right, the other person, two cards came out for them, and they have the sun in reverse with the six of swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the sun in reverse, it's still a good card, even in the reverse. Um, it does talk of newness and... Um, wanting to start things new. This person can be feeling a little bit sad though with it in the reverse. They can have, they might have depression. They might have anxiety that they're trying to deal with. Um, so they're not in their highest vibration right now. You could be, this could be, um, sometimes the sun will represent Taurus and we did see, um, the earth signs in the page of pentacles. So again, this, your, your other person could be a Taurus. Um, but I feel like with the six of swords, they are moving away from something that no longer serves them. So it's interesting, you know, with, with you having the tower Pisces, it's almost kind of that same energy. Um, they, I feel like they're having a difficult time of this, that they're, they're not able to break free, um, easily. So this person could, um, this can be a third party situation. I mean, I do see the three bolts of lightning here. And, you know, maybe this could be you finding out about the third party Pisces. That could be the sudden shock and change. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to move away from something or someone. So they could be, um, you know, attached to somebody. They're having a hard time moving away. But I feel like they are, they are really trying, Okay. Now it can go, it can go many different ways. It could be trying to move towards you, um, is what I'm getting, or they could be trying to move away from you. Okay. Um, so take that however it resonates to your situation. All right. Okay. So the next card Pisces is going to represent your emotions and you have the Hierophant. And this card speaks of tradition. Um, this can be marriage, but when it falls in the category of your emotions, 
what I'm getting is that you really want um, commitment from this person. Okay. Whether that be marriage or, you know, moving in together or having children together or whatever that type of commitment is to you. Um, you want that with this person. And maybe, you know, with the Six of Swords, they were not av available before in the past. And um, now they are. They're coming towards you and they're telling you, you know, that they're emotionally available, physically available, and um, they want to offer you something here with this Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you something that is stable. Um, not sure they're on the same level of commitment that you're wanting, Pisces, but it's a start with this page of pentacles here, okay? <clears throat> so the next card we have represents your other, the other person's emotions. And they have the seven of cups. Okay, so with the seven of cups... Emotionally, they're, they're overwhelmed, okay? They're confused. They have a lot on their plate. They have a lot of choices. Um, the seven can, you know, speak of fantasy and not really, um, not really being in reality. This person might be, you know, daydreaming a lot, fantasizing about you a lot. And maybe what they're thinking is that, you know, this, maybe they're thinking that this really isn't possible, okay? Maybe to them it's just all a fantasy. It's all in their head. Um, they would like to have that commitment with you, um, but for some reason they're not thinking that it's possible or they're, or they're wishing that it could happen, but they're not really um, making the effort to, to act on it, okay? Um, yeah, so they're very emotional. They're very confused. They are not really sure what, what type of action to take here towards you. Okay. All right. So the last two cards, Pisces, is going to represent the outcome and the potential for the relationship for August. And we have two cards for you. We have the moon reversed and the five of cups. Okay, so the moon, Pisces, that is, of course, your card. Um, I'm going to turn it around so you can see it here. That's such a beautiful card. Get it to focus. There we go. Um... With the moon reverse, this talks about releasing fear and um, letting go of anxiety. It can also talk about not using your intuition. Because um, Pisces, you're a very intuitive sign. One, I, I think one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac. Um, the water signs especially. <clears throat> With the moon in reverse, this can be confusion. It can be, um, you know, lacking clarity. But at the same time, you're, I feel like you're, you're releasing the fear of the unknown. And you're trusting in the universe that whatever happens is meant to happen. And I feel like you're not trying to really control the situation. Although you do really want commitment with this person. Um, you're not really trying to force that. You're just kind of being in your Pisces energy and um, waiting to see what happens. Now with the, the Five of Cups, this can be sadness. This can be a loss of some sort. So I feel like... I feel like whatever this tower moment is for you, you know, whatever, whatever happened here with this tower moment, it was difficult and there was a loss of some sort. 
and there was a shakeup. There was confusion. There's sadness. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you that this is a truth that was revealed to you by the other person. Could be that they were married, that they were, um, you know, they weren't single when they said they were, or they have children to someone else, or whatever it, whatever it is that they they weren't um, 100% truthful to you. I feel like it's coming out in the open, and there is some sadness, there is some disappointment, but the Five of Cups is not all a bad card. Um, you can see the Three Cups here that are spilled on the ground. But there's two cups that he has in his hand there that are remaining. And those two of cups are still filled. They're still filled with um, that liquid in that, and that speaks of emotion. And I do feel like there is still potential here for this relationship to work. Um, but there's a lot of factors at play. This is a very deep reading, Pisces. Um, and, and again, this is a general reading, so it's hard for me to get really, you know, sp super specific. Um, but I do see, I do see some hope here and, and some potential because we do have the two of cups. And if you, if you're familiar with the tarot and you know what the two of cups card looks like, um, it is actually a man and a woman, two people handing their cups to each other and exchanging their cups. And it's an equal give and take of love and emotion. Okay. So I do feel like there is still some hope here. Um, even though it looks kind of dark and gloomy, I, I do believe there is still some hope. Okay. <clears throat> that is if you want this relationship to work, Pisces, you know, if that's what you're wanting. But with the Hierophant here, I, I do feel like in this, in your emotions, you are wanting commitment with this person. Okay, so we're going to look at your uh, Romance Angels Oracle card, Pisces, and you got religious factors. And it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, Aquarius got this card also in their reading. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you know, there is some sword energy here, um, some air energy. So if that's the case, watch the Aquarius video. It could tie, in, tie this all in together. But what this talks about is you may be having a spiritual awakening with this tower moment, um, you and your partner or significant other might not be in the same page spiritually. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to be that you're different, you know, religious or different faiths, but you could be in different places spiritually. Um, and if we're not on the same vibration, we can't really meet each other on an equal, um, equal level and be, you know, in an equal partnership. So maybe they have some work to do, you know, spiritually or, or vice versa. Maybe you do. Um, but for some reason there's, some, there's a conflict here. Um, and it, and it seems to be not in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm. Okay. So we are, I'm going to pull you an additional advice card for the month of August, Pisces. I'm just going to shuffle these a minute. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Pisces. So you got number six and it's called Healing Begins. And I do believe this correlates to the Six of Swords card in the tarot. 
so that makes perfect sense. Um, Six of Swords is, you know, moving away from something that was painful, that was difficult. And this is your person, you know, your partner or potential partner. And I feel like they're just now beginning their, their journey of healing. Okay. Um, whatever it was that they're moving away from was painful and it, it hurt them. And, um, with the sun in reverse, they're not quite themselves. They're not quite, I don't feel like they're in a place where they're able to give you, um, their heart just yet. They still have some healing to do, but they've begun that journey. And, um, that's a really good card. And I also can speak for you, Pisces, you know, if there was some hurt or some betrayal here with the tower, you also have some healing to do as well. So, um, I feel like this is a good, good outcome card though for the relationship, because I feel like there is potential here for the relationship to heal and for things to get better. And, um, you can see the green here that's, um, symbolizes the heart chakra. So, um, if both of you are willing to try again and try to fix things and really open up your heart chakra and, um, you know, heal it and give to one another, I do think there is a lot of potential here. Okay. So there you have your reading Pisces. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that helped someone out. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read all of your comments and your personal situations. And if you have any questions, um, you can email me. Or if you would like a private reading, I will leave all of my information down below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in September.